नमस्कार तो इच सारनी म्योन यानी दीपिका जुच्छी हूँ हत हत नमस्कार टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू इट्स गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी वेरी स्पेशल एपिसोड ऑफ कहानी कश्मीर की बिकॉज आई हैव समबडी रियली स्पेशल दैट आई वांट यू टू मीट हर नेम इज स्वप्ना रैना एंड शी रिप्रेजेंट्स ए एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉल्ड कोशुर राग एंड कोशुर राग इज एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट हैज अ पर्पज दैट इज वेरी क्लोज टू माई हार्ट and so without further ado let's bring on swapna raina and talk to her about koshurag and what their organization is doing for the kashmiri pandits welcome to the show swapna namaskar namaskar sarni thank you so much uh, for this wonderful opportunity deepika ji and good morning afternoon evening to all the audience depending on where they are connecting with us today so thank you once again great thank you for joining us today so so apna tell us a little bit about koshurag and what does the organization do what is the purpose of the organization um absolutely uh, so koshurag is a non-profit organization based out of florida um in us and uh when it was established it, it was established with a mission to inspire promote and support unserved underserved artists in india so uh by not only providing them with financial resources uh material resources but also encouragement um an opportunity to learn and uh so that they could further augment their skills and uh you know just add more fire to their passion if i may say that <laughs> that is fantastic how did how did the idea for this organization germinate how did you guys come about tell me a little bit about the history uh koshurag is a fairly new we are still in our infant baby stage a little more than a year old so uh if i say it's something that culminated or a chai pe charcha kind of a thing maybe it has that little bit of a twist but the founder um arvin matu who's based in florida actually uh very uh, enthusiastic about music he comes from a musical family and he himself uh i hope he's not listening to me but he can sing but he's not uh, you know he's more passionate about supporting the cause and uh he never got professionally trained um in in actually in arvin's own words you know um what he could not achieve to fulfill his dreams to learn music for reasons you know what happened to all kashmiri pandits um because of all the struggles uh to be to focus uh, on academics so that you could like make a career for you. uh believe that no kid should be left behind so he decided that the passion for music that he had had you know coming from his family as such so what could he do he thought about it it's like how about giving the opportunity and resources to the underserved so that's how it started and then um upender but arvin's very close friend he is in us in pittsburgh pennsylvania he's also a, a great music lover and you'll always hear him humming the uh, you know some songs um so upender uh, joined arvin and as you know it just like you know uh, one by one one more person joined was dr pavnish madan uh, who resides in canada he's been classically trained in music he also comes from a family where his you know, mom sings very well his sisters sing so the music connected um, you know all three of them and how i came into the picture is i i watched the programs and i i am i'm a volunteer i'm passionate about it and whenever um there's a kashmiri cause anywhere we're talking about you know what can we give back to our community how can we support um you know with all the privileges that we have can we do something and give back to the society to our community to help our you know our our, our community members so i kind of joined them and um i'm i'm kind of vocal so i always had some ideas to tell them and then somehow i started emceeing the programs and um so his koshurag but apart from us we do have um several several volunteers one of our very um 
close friends, Jilaf Parimo. Um, she is a big supporter. She's in Canada and she's a trusted advisor. Um, and the good thing about Jilaf is that she's a very candid critic. She will let us know what is the fact so that we stay on track, we are focused. Um, when we have these event planned, events planned, you know, we bring the quality and, and the promise and the expectations that we have set to our audiences. So that is how Kosher Art started and, um, you know, it's, it's growing. Great, great. So I, I will talk to you a little bit about the volunteers and the events in a little bit, but immediately I want to know about, you know, you said you, you know, your organization promotes talent and, you know, upcoming budding artists. Is there a certain genre of music that you promote or are you open to the genres? It's just the, the promotion of talent. Tell me a little bit about the type of music that you guys promote. Uh, th that is a great question. You know, it's an old saying, music has no boundaries and it has no, you know, uh, no restrictions. So as such, Koshurag has no restrictions on the genre of music uh, or the language. It's all about showcasing the Kashmiri Pandit culture, our heritage and, you know, our history via music. We encourage KP, you know, Kashmiri Pandit artists to sing in other languages also. Matter of fact, we have, uh, we had an ev last event we had to uh, celebrate India's 75th independence, the uh, Azadi Ka Mahaut. So we had around 14 singers, they sang in 15 plus languages. So no restrictions. Um, everybody is bound together by that sweet and musical thread of music. So no restrictions to genre, no restriction to languages. It can be instrumental as well. So we had a wonderful um, Santur player in, uh, you know, on, in, on one of our programs, uh, somebody who played sitar and just, you know, they all amazed us and mesmerized us with wow. their music. So no restrictions. Wow, that is fantastic. How do you, tell me a little bit about how do you pick the talent? You know, I'm sure there are a, a lot of truly talented uh, Kashmiri pundits out there. And secondly, I'm sure there are a lot of passionate Kashmiri pundit kids and people who think they are good. How do you kind of separate the shaft from the grain? And how do you, do you have a process of vetting who you would like to promote and who you don't think is good enough right now and needs a little more sure. uh, training and coaching before they come to you? Absolutely. Um, another great question. So, um, you know, for the success of the events, so that, and also for taking Kosher out to the next level, we do have a team. We have a, you know, um, our executive team. We, they work on the talent search. We have the combined networks, word of mouth. You know, um, we keep our eyes and ears open. There's a lot out there on the social media, the social media leads. So in a sense, if I want to put them in a step-by-step -step process, what Kosherog does, uh, Kosherog searches, they find and they evaluate. Um, means do we think that we are professionals or at that level to evaluate but by evaluate we mean that you know the the voice quality the passion the dedication i think that is most important in this case so it's all about the passion the drive that these singers have and you know which is kind of still um in a shell because of the resources that they don't have or just mere encouragement a lot of um, artists that came their parents were saying you know, it's not going to feed you. So, um, you know, just to provide them that support. Um, it, it, is a, it is a pretty good vetted process, but just like any organization, there's always room for improvement and we are looking for ideas. And um, thank you, Bharat FM, for getting Kosherag message out there. So hopefully after this show, that we'll have more people calling us, uh, you know, looking for... Uh, ways to connect, see how we can help them. So um, th there, there's a process in place for sure. Right, fantastic. Uh, so once you get the talent on board and you have them with you, what are some of the things you do to promote those people? You, you know, do you coach them? You know, if, you know, I'm sure people need, you know, honing in, you know, shaping and coaching and mentoring. Do you do all of that? Tell me a little bit about the process that an artist would go through with you once they are with Kosherash. 
So even though uh, Kershaw does not hone the artist skill, but we provide them resources to grow, uh, we conduct uh, Kershaw workshops. Uh, we have summer camps. Um, pretty successful for eight weeks the fall session is coming up for 13 weeks for kids teens and and um you know youth and adults i think our our youngest uh, member of our you know participant in one camps was eight year old and i think the oldest was 70 plus year old lady so uh so that was that was really yeah, that was an aha moment for me absolutely absolutely so aside from coaching and you know and training we also have like uh mentors if they kind of groom them uh, right now the nnjg um, you know very famous um, singer he is uh take, giving them the coaching the classes and we're also hoping to get dr dipali wathal on board mm -hmm. so that you know we can keep growing this institution other than just having the music uh, programs but also help them polish their skills and, and grow professionally Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Tell me a little bit about, um, do you have a, a, a personal story or an anecdote or a story about a talent who was, you know, maybe, uh, you know, not so successful or shy and you brought them to the forefront and you helped them succeed? Uh, tell, you know, give me, I, I'm all about personal stories <laughs> and anecdotes. So give me a story. Tell me about somebody who went through uh, your and process. And benefited, and, and I'm as well because that makes you feel good and like okay, we accomplished something, and it kind of connects you at the heart and core. It's not all about you know th this is what we provide, but that connection, that click, just just takes it to the next level. Um, exactly. To name a person or two would not be fair, but I would definitely say that we have had artists that you know um, they were shy, they didn't have a good enough musical instrument, a harmonium to play, and they're like, I can sing, but mera baja acha nahi bajata hai. So it kind of drowns my voice. So Koshirak provided that instrument to them. Then we had some of these artists back home in, in Delhi and in Jammu. Um, they're like, but mere ghar mein, I don't have those facilities. You know, the internet is choppy, it comes in and out. So um, thanks or no thanks to COVID, we have moved into this, we, everybody adapted to this virtual lifestyle so much. So um, they didn't have a good internet connection. What do we do? But that is somebody we knew, we could see it in their eyes. They're really passionate about it. They had the voice quality. And even though they did not, they did not or some did to a certain level had a professional training they just needed that extra push to get them over but something was holding them back was that if i sing my internet you know gets disconnected i don't have a good sound system so we we provide them with a studio facility there where they can go free of cost um, and they can you know join us virtually um they were, they're, um, you know, the, the, a lot of names that probably, um, you know, uh, Miru Raina, um, Vishal, um, I, I just want, don't want to pick some names, but um, there, there are a lot of them that uh, we were able to bring to the forefront and they were able to see their talent. And uh, because of that program, I want to say um, they were, they were, identified or they came into limelight and we had requests for some public and private events is it possible for you to connect us to them so um deepika ji in addition to you know just singing and we you know just it started providing them some financial support as well they started getting paid for it so um it, it, that took it to the next level for them so at at home also, so that makes a big difference. And, you know, uh, passion can take us, uh, hobbies can take us to a certain level, but ultimately in the bigger, uh, you know, on picture, you have to be able to support yourself. And when you give them that, that security, I mean, that something is coming back in return. Um, gives them a little bit of peace of mind. They're able to focus more on their music and they're not going to get discouraged, hopefully, and they'll continue on their passions. So we will not lose a talent for the lack of resources, be it financial or otherwise. That That is the aim or the goal that Kosher Rag is trying to um, bring across. Yeah, that is fantastic. So you mentioned a, uh, a studio 
And tell me a little bit about this. So you contracted with a studio in Jammu, I'm assuming, and um, and they so the artists can go over there and play. Tell me a little bit about that. That just seems very fascinating to me. Sure, sure. And there's one in Delhi and one in Jammu. So when we have these virtual programs and they don't have the setup at home, we connect them with the studio so they can go there. They don't have to, you know, take pitch in any money, they don't have to pay for it. Kosherak takes care of it. So they just go in, they use the uh, facility for the program and um, that's it. And there's another very good story I want to say, um, it's because of Kosherak and uh, you know we are active here, somebody from a different organization contacted Kosherak and said, can you connect me to like Rahul? Uh, we heard him on your program. We are trying to, um, uh, Deepika ji, if you recall, there was a very old um, Delhi, uh, Durdashan Delhi, Chuin Taras, they main Taras, equated by Nisa in Taras. So there was different languages showing the uh, unity of India. So this organization and the not-for-profit, they were trying to come up with a video and they asked us if we could, you know, connect to play the, the Kashmiri piece and the classical piece. So those connections are happening um, slowly but surely. And as we grow, we are hoping, you know, it's going to grow bigger. And um, the singer was able to go to a studio and we had the, um, the not-for-profit pay for the studio rent so that our artists do not lose an opportunity because they're not able to maybe financially support it or um, for, for any, if they could be, you know, any other reason. Um, so that way the encouragement and just to give them different options and avenues so that they can make uh, decisions not purely based on oh i can do it i you know it's too much money to give or it's not gonna come through come across as well as good or as well i would like it to correct perfect that's a great service you're providing so if any of you any of the viewers out there you are considering something like this know that kashiraj provides those facilities to you if you know the lack of facilities is what's Absolutely. hampering your progress so definitely Absolutely. look into that for all the viewers um tell me a little bit about swapna tell me about the volunteers you mentioned at the beginning of the uh, of this conversation you mentioned uh, you know founders and you know other people kept getting added to the organization tell me a little a little bit about your volunteer body how many volunteers do you have and and uh, and Tell me a little bit about them. I always love hearing about people at the back end. So tell me a little about your volunteer body. Uh, absolutely. So um, if I was to pick a number, I would say 20 plus, but I, uh, excuse me. Um, but we do believe that everybody who provides some kind of a feedback to Kosherak and so what can be done in the next program what should we consider what went wrong they're all volunteers so i'm not able to put the finger on that pulse and tell you how many people but active members or volunteers who get together on a regular basis and we have these different groups going all the time emails whatsapp okay now next program coming up is such and such you know we are going to celebrate 75th independence of india or we did during um, the unfortunate second wave of COVID times, we did the Mahamritunjay mantra um, just for, you know, peace and some bring some calm to everybody. Uh, before that, you know, all the programs, you all get together, we kind of have a brainstorming session. So I would say to the, to the tune of 20 plus people who are very actively involved, who get together and, you know, express their thoughts and ideas and, you know, some ideas can come in the middle of the night depending on where you are so in the morning you get up and you have a whatsapp message hey how about this so that, that that's very encouraging that you know it's all purely volunteer based and it's the result that everybody's hoping for that even if we help one person that's one person more than was not being helped previously and um, that kinds of helps our mission and uh, brings us closer to the goal of helping and serving the underserved. So. That's fantastic. Tell me a little bit about, um, in terms of volunteering, if somebody wanted to, and, and please shamelessly plug the organization at this <laughs> point. So who would, um, so if I want to volunteer with you, um, how would I find you and where would I find you? And 
if I'm a talent and, mm -hmm. and looking for some help from you guys, how would I find you and where would I find you? Tell me a little bit about the about the access to your organization so first of all the shameless plug the artists and volunteers are welcome you know uh, there's never enough of them so uh thank you for giving us that opportunity uh deepika ji um, they can connect us on various social media platforms we are on instagram facebook youtube and twitter and besides that they can contact us directly via email admin at koshurag.com so once again, admin at koshurrag.com. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for letting us know. And for the viewers out there, admin at koshurrag.com is the place to go. <laughs> okay. For sure. So, uh, so tell me a little bit, Swapna, about the, the funding and the fundraising. And, you know, you are a not-for-profit organization. Um, how and where do you get, you know, sources? You know, do you have fundraisers? You know, you told me you do workshops. So, you know, there is definitely, you know, the good, the good intention, but you kind of have to put the money behind those good intentions. So Absolutely. tell me a little about that aspect and, and your fundraising activities and what do you guys do for that? So we, uh, Koshirag only does fundraising once a year um, uh, for the sustenance of the programs throughout the year, but we do have generous supporters. Uh, we have uh, generous audience supporters of music who come forward. So in the beginning of the year, we kind of have a game plan. We chalk out the events for the remainder of the year. So one event every month. And um, we have had a lot of families that have come forth and have sponsored for an event. Um, we had our, um, you know, the Diwali program, we had a sponsor. We had our Valentine's Day program, had a sponsor. We had our Shivratri program, we had a sponsor. So um, these supporters who are very passionate about preservation of Kashmiri culture, music, and music overall, we have been blessed that they support us and they provide us advice. And of course, like you said, the financial support is very critical to keep the, you know, the, the engine going needs some fuel to be pumped into it so definitely that those are the couple of places where the funds come through and in addition to that we have volunteers who would just provide their um professional skills free of cost so um they're getting some experience out of it but more so it's all about you know how they feel about um, the program the event and the passion that they connect with us and are providing their time you know precious time as well as letting us use some of their uh, professional skills. Right, right. So that's, so that's great information. Um, tell me a little bit about, um, you know, you said you routinely do, you know, uh, events through the year. Um, tell me about any upcoming events that you guys are working on right now. Absolutely. Right now, um, we are working on... Uh, I'm sure you uh, you have, and most of your audience would have heard about the mystic poetess Lal Dead of Kashmir. So to celebrate her 800th anniversary, uh, the Lal Dead Octo Centenary event is coming up end of September. Um, because of the timing, you want, we want to have the timing as such where our audience from all over the globe can, can join us so that it's not a very odd timing. So we are in the process of finalizing the actual date and time, which we will be um, you know, advertising shortly. That is the immediate event that's being planned. Um, after that, sometime in October, it, we would be focusing on the ghazal genre. Uh, uh, then November, given Diwali, um, Thanksgiving, um, December, we we are uh, you know working on organizing a holiday special. And since it's going to be the last Koshurag event for the year 2021, um, we are planning a Koshurag Musical Awards Night uh, in December. So by the time we get into November, I'm sure we will, um, Arvind, Upender, and, and Pavnish will have the series of events lined up for 2022. So we certainly... Uh, yeah, that's Try fantastic. You yeah. guys are constantly busy and constantly doing stuff. I, and just the amazing work that you're doing to encourage the Kashmiri Pandit talent, I'm just completely inspired and overwhelmed and awed by, you know, Thank how you. much you're giving of yourself for a cause like this. I think um, 
the preservation of our culture is so critical. And you guys are such a huge, huge part of that. So kudos to your organization, of course. Thank you. Um, tell me a little bit about, uh, and I know your time is precious, so I'll only ask you a couple more questions. Sure. Um, so tell me a little bit about the, the long-term goals of the organization. You told me, you know, what you're doing today and what you aspire to, you know, you told me about some of the events that, that are coming up. And then you told me, you know, the, you know, a goal of, you know, putting Kashmir funded talent on the map. Um, tell me where you see the organization, you know, three, five, Five, seven, eight, ten years from now. Yes, we, we where we see Koshirag is that we still see us on the globe. Uh, we are learning to be adaptive, you know, and grow with the changing um, scenario. Uh, but our main is that we want to build a foundation for a generation of young musicians. Uh, we want to give them a platform where they can come and they can exchange ideas. Uh, we want to be able to provide, connect them with the aim of generating revenue stream for them. Uh, for these artists, we are, you know, private and public events. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, Deepika Ji, also the workshops right now, you know, we have one workshop, we are working on adding another one. So growing that to have a full musical institution online where um, someone in US, Canada, Singapore is not restricted by, I do not have anybody to teach me Kashmiri music here or, or classical music here. We can connect them virtually via internet. Um, and uh, we may not be uh, able to teach the language, the, have the, you know, the children speak it fluently, but our goal is to teach them Kashmiri songs, devotional, spiritual, folk, so that they can stay connected to their roots, even no matter where in the globe they are. Um, and, and one of our main um, goals is that you know the more and more events that we have and we organize the artists will get visibility and um, with this visibility they will get an opportunity to pursue their passion further and, and grow um, grow professionally as well mm -hmm. yeah yeah that that and that is so such a critical um, you know service that you're providing and obviously appeasing your short-term and long-term goals as well um, that's that's absolutely fantastic. Um, it, you know, something sparked in my head. You said something about, um, you know, not losing their roots and not losing the new generation, not losing their culture. And as you were talking in my head, um, you know, when we were growing up, uh, our grandmother used to live with us. And my most profound memory of her is Every day she would sing, she would sing that every single day. And that is so ingrained in my psyche and in my brain. I, you know, it's there. It's just part of who I am yes. today. Yes. Um, do, so similarly to that, do you have any, um, any song or any snippet of your, you know, growing up years? Um, that you could share with our viewers that has stuck with you and has made you who you are today? Absolutely. Mursharka is one, is a very powerful bhajan that every, you know, um, Kashmiri home played that. And also, I say Sharan Kartam Daya, Om Shri Ganesha oh, wow. Nama is another one. Um, yeah, since you talked about connecting to roots, I, I personally feel, given what we all went through, it's very important that we need to maintain you know, the Kashmiri music will stay there, but the Kashmiri Pandit music, the devotional, the musical. So, you know, our kids, if they're not constantly, they don't have, they're not blessed enough to have the grandma, you know, all homes staying with them and singing those bhajans in the morning. Um, so they're not listening. It's not getting embedded in them. So we have to find ways and means that they can stay connected. Um, we just want the culture, the tradition to keep, stay with us forever. You know, uh, it's, a, it's a humble and a small attempt, and we are hoping that it will reap some results. Um, we, we are very really passionate about it. Um, that, that is what we are trying to achieve. So um, Deepika Ji, one thing um, maybe I didn't mention 
in addition to just having these, you know, song singing in like Hindi, Kashmiri, or any other language, um, we always have a plug in like there was a Shivratri function, we talked about Shivratri, we, we had the um, impromptu like quiz questions there, the, the fastest finger first. So it was all related to uh, here at Shivratri, you know, um, what is the setup call? Uh, I'm just trying to recall like the Vatuk or, uh, you know, when is it celebrated? So we ask those, we throw those questions during the event to the audience. And so that, and then we have some people keeping, you know, an eye on the on the chat, the fastest finger first, whoever answered the correct, uh, gave the correct answer uh, first, we gave, we mailed a kosherag mug to them. So we're trying to get the audience engaged as well and talk about the event so that if we have a non-Kashmiri on the, you know, who kind of to been gracious to join us uh, for the event, they get to know about Kashmir a bit. Uh, so if somebody is singing like Har Mukh Bartal or a Kashmiri song, mm -hmm. every time I MC, I try to translate it. I kind of try to connect people so that everybody can understand Kashmiri speaking, of course, will, mm -hmm. um, but we are trying to keep the audience engaged and with us and um, make it an enjoyable session for them. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Yeah, what a, a, what a great way to incorporate people from other parts of the country as well, because I think it's really important not only to propagate the Kashmiri culture, but to propagate it to the rest of India so that everybody feels part of the same country. Um, you know, I talk to a lot of people who tell me that you know, part of the reason Kashmir Pandit suffered so much um, in the 1990s and since then is because they were always so isolated. Mm -hmm. And a lot of Indians didn't A, know about much about the culture, but B, also didn't feel like they were really part of the country. And so what a great work that you are doing to make them a coherent part of India and the Indian culture. Um, amazing, amazing work. Um, Thank last you. Question, sure. Last question for you today, Swapna. Um, what is your message to all of the talented, you know, Kashmiri Pandit kids and, you know, adults as well out there who are passionate about pursuing a, a hobby to a career in music, mm -hmm. but feel like they don't have the opportunities or don't find the correct platform? What is your message to them? What would you say to them? I would say that lack of financial resources or materials should not hold you back. There are a lot of avenues out there. Feel, uh, you know, be open, feel free to reach out. Um, and, and also as things are evolving and acceptance of music and artistic professions, you know, is going, gaining momentum in all cultures, especially Kashmiri culture. And I, I hope you understand what I'm saying. So I want to tell all these young budding artists that there are a lot of people out there here encouraging you. You have that something special that everybody is not blessed with. So they need to let it grow and, uh, there is a platform, there are a lot of people out there uh, with their arms wide open to provide encouragement and platform um, so that they can channel their passion and they can just take it to the next level. And And I, I won't say sky should be their limit because they say there should be really no limit. They should just, you know, um, we are here and I'm sure there are a lot of other organizations and. Uh, we are trying to do whatever we can in whatever limited cap capacity we have. But it just makes us, you know, we are humbled. We are really thankful that we have the privilege that we are able to provide a little bit of support, a little bit of encouragement. A lot of times, Deepika Ji, it's not about always about financial support or material. It's all about, you know, there was this artist, he came on the event and we all send like, you know, uh, see their pro, uh, you know YouTube channels. So that's one thing I would encourage everybody, please go on their um, YouTube channels. They have it out there, subscribe it, like them. So that is another thing that we have been talking about on all our program. When we have an artist come and showcase their talent, we, I always plug in, please make sure you go to the YouTube channels, you know, subscribe to their channel and, you know, put in some, write a comment and it just encourages them. It, it, it takes them a longer way than maybe 
um, some money or financial support for it. And it just gives them that added fire, you know, that I can do it, you know, kuch hai dam mere mein, tabhi to itne log dekh rahe hain, tabhi to itne log, you know, they're subscribing to my channel. So let me see what else I can do, you know. So um, that encouragement definitely goes a long way. Absolutely. Yeah. So, Apnalji, thank you so much for joining us today. I really, really appreciate your time and for inspiring us and to hopefully to all the viewers out there, um, you know, who were watching this and listening to all the amazing things that Swapna said that the organization Kosharag does, please consider volunteering, please consider donating, please consider just being a, a passive participant, if nothing else, you know, by what Swapna said, joining, uh, you know, jo jo follow people on YouTube, join the organization, follow the organization on YouTube, Facebook, all the social media, and then encourage these artists who are working so, so, so hard for a collective cause, really. Of course, they're promoting themselves, but they're also promoting the Kashmiri Pandit culture, which today is in danger of dying out. So definitely the work that you guys are doing, Swapna, is so critical to the community. And I hope that the community and the non-Kashmiri Pandits that are also watching this show are encouraged and inspired to help out the organization and the wonderful work they're doing. Um, Thank so you so much for this opportunity and I'll only uh, request the audience, please join us, look out for our events and join us. Um, joining us provides us additional, because we as volunteers also need encouragement. So when we see a lot of people are joining us in this mission, it just gives us more added um, vigor and you know enthusiasm to keep going. And thank you so much Bharat FM and Deepika Ji for giving Kosharag an opportunity to talk about us and um, let us connect with your audience. Great, of course, thank you for your time. And to all the Kahani Kashmir ki viewers out there, thank you for watching today. We really appreciate your time. And if you have a story, if you have a talent that you would like to showcase, please contact me, contact the show, uh, come on our show and talk to us about it. You can always find me at 513-488-5070. And that number is 513-488-5070. It's a US number. Please join me and come on the show because this is your show and we would love to showcase your talent. So with that, thank you very much for your time. Which is Tuhun Panin Deepika Zuchi. Namaskar. Namaskar.